Meanwhile, there's extensive damage in Pinellas County. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos live in Seminole where that tornado hit only hours ago. Maricela? Many families decided to stay home even though they did not have electricity. There is plenty to clean up tomorrow. You can see there's some equipment here ready to do that. Piles of debris. The wind was so powerful. You can see it knocked down that stop sign. Many of the families told me they are relieved. Everyone is OK. A generator powers Bill Young's home. I bought that for hurricane season. <laughs> I didn't use it. He's using it now after what appears to be a tornado ripped through his neighborhood, Conrad Mobile Park. It was a little bit after three, it got dark and it got cold. And then I saw stuff blowing around like uh, lawn chairs and stuff. It just sounded like a bomb going off, went boom. Bill saw roofs flying. I watched the screened in pores lift it up and uh, then slammed back down. Families about a block away experienced it too. The wind just started whipping and things started flying across my window. Tornado warnings going off. I'm very, very, very grateful my daughter was in the shower. <laughs> very grateful. You can see debris throughout Seminole Country Green and the neighborhood around it. It was like three or four minutes and it was over. It was unbelievable. The storm ripped off solar panels. It twisted signs, tore fences apart and knocked down trees. It's sad because not even even after Hurricane Irma came through, this is this is 10 times worse than I can even imagine. It's scary. Emergency and power crews immediately showed up. Families are thankful they're OK. People cannot be replaced. Things can. So as long as everybody is safe, then that's all I care about. I'm told there will be Pinellas County deputies patrolling all of these neighborhoods. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.